All right, we'll get our next video here of Kaiser, um, who is on day one of his stay here with us. He's currently in the ISO room. Doesn't like other cats. Um, we that was the reason for give up, and we can you can just tell that when they get here if they're all sort of growly and agitated by other cats. So we'll be looking for a home for him by himself. He is young, healthy, and fronty clawed, and that has its positives and its negatives. Um, certainly, declawing is. Uh, a fairly horrible surgery and causes a lot of emotional distress uh, to the cats and emotional baggage and that's this is what we see um, with many many of these cats so this cat is a nipper um, without claws he relies on his teeth feels a little defenseless and then you put the cat through a situation like rescue where they really don't know what's going on or what happened to their home or who belongs to them or who they belong to and they become a little bit insecure and suspicious. So while he's a very well socialized and affectionate cat, um, he needs a strong, what I call an alpha owner, someone who can use a teacher's voice, um, help him learn that the nipping is not acceptable. Um, it's not a constant thing, but you know, you want to pick up and cuddle and love on your kitty and you are going to see this behavior with him. Um, he is obviously uh, very outgoing, interactive, talkative, um, again, well socialized, healthy, lovely, lovely cat, um, beautiful condition and shape, fairly strong, outgoing personality, um, I suspect will adapt very quickly. This is not a cat that's going to kind of hide behind things. This is a cat who's going to do exactly as he's doing here check everything out, rub on everything, um, and make the place his own very quickly. So very outgoing, confident personality. Um, he's been indoors only as far as we know. He certainly looks it and um, his best type home, I would say, will be again a confident um, person with the ability to use a teacher's voice to help him learn um, if, if there is nipping, that that's unacceptable. Someone who can give him quite a bit of attention. Uh, these cats that are very, very Siamese, uh, this is part of the breed. They need quite a lot of attention, so they're not suited for homes where someone is gone almost all the time or um, not home that often. Uh, and they um, need someone who's going to talk to them, treat them as an intelligent being almost, uh, explain to them, reason with them, reassure them, understand that uh, they're insecure despite their acting, you know, overly confident or um, full of themselves, that really there's a lot of insecurity that goes with going through the rescue process, losing your home, etc. So in his case, look at his tail going. So to me, this is a cat who is um, attempting to act very confident, bold, and um, comfortable, but is, is subtly insecure. Um, so not surprising. Not surprising. Uh, this is what we call an, uh, an owner give up. Well, he, he actually did come through the shelter, but we do have information from the original owner. And... Uh, you know, part of our, our program is to make sure that we make <clears throat> good matches between the cat and the home. So we spend a lot of time trying to get to know these cats and trying to predict and outline the type of situation they're going to need to be successful so that uh, if they are happy, then the, the family is going to be happy. So that's what we have on this guy so far. Doesn't seem to be too interested in my feather wand may just be early um, in his time here. Often we don't see play behavior right away, but I tend to think that uh, he's almost acting like, you know, this is a little bit below him, and he's more interested in, oh, oh look at that. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little bit. Now I said that. See he's, how smart he is? He says, now you said that. I'm just going to show you. Show them that you're full of you-know-what. Um... 
But he's ready to already leave this room, check out what's beyond the door. It'll, this is a cat that's difficult to have here at the center because we don't have any uh, long-term environments for cats that really don't like other cats. There's, there's other cats everywhere. So we'll be anxious to find this guy at home as soon as we can. Uh, he should be ready to go very quickly. As I said, he's in great health. And while he will see our vet this week, I don't expect anything to hold him up from going home.